Every vehicle on the road is held together with thousands and thousands of fasteners. Whether it's something small and insignificant like a screw holding a door panel on or something as important as a connecting rod bolt, each fastener has its own specific function and purpose. Now, for the majority of things that you tighten up on your vehicle, you don't need to take any special steps. Just tighten it down and go, whether it be an alternator or a fender. But there are certain fasteners that need to have an additional chemical compound applied to the threads to help that fastener do its job, whether that be preventing a leak or stopping it from backing out. So today, we're going to go over some of those common chemicals that get applied to threads. A lot of times you'll have a fastener that's in a very difficult to reach place or has lots of vibration, like the hardware that holds a flex plate onto the back of a crankshaft. So you can apply a thread locking compound that goes on the threads and prevents it from backing out over time. Now there are many, many different types, but there's two basic kinds that I always keep around, medium strength and high strength liquid thread lock. Now this stuff is very easy to apply. A few drops on the thread is all you'll need to prevent the fastener from backing out. One thing to keep in mind with the red, though, is you will need heat or special tools to take it apart. Certain critical fasteners inside your engine require a very specific torque value to be applied when they get tightened down for something like a cylinder head stud or a main bearing bolt inside your engine. Now, if you tighten these fasteners down dry, they can actually bind up and cause a false torque reading, which could lead to failure of a part. So special lubricants have been developed to go on the threads of the fastener, so when you tighten it down, you get a very accurate reading. A little bit of lubricant gets applied to the nut side of the stud, both sides of the washer, and only one side of the nut. A lot of times you'll have a bolt that's in a highly corrosive environment or on a part like an exhaust manifold that sees a lot of heat cycles. That constant expansion and contraction can actually cause the hardware to sort of freeze up. And if you try to unscrew it, it could actually twist off or break. And if that happens, you're in for a lot of work. One step that can help you is to apply some penetrating lubricant on the threads a little while before you do the job. When you put a fastener back into something like a manifold, I always like to use an anti-seize compound, which is a bit of a preventative measure to keep it from sticking in the first place. Every fluid fitting is a little different. AN style flare and O-ring fittings require no sealant at all, but a tapered pipe thread fitting needs something, whether it's Teflon tape, Teflon paste or a Teflon paste with a thread locker built in. Those are the most popular chemicals that you'd apply on threads in an automotive application. 